Hey guys, Matt here with MSG's Treasures. I am back with another episode. Uh, this is a locker I got a couple weeks ago, actually about a month ago, um, where I paid $480 for it. It was stuffed with a bunch of boxes, uh, washer and dryer, some furniture, and then the pictures look pretty good. Um, but it hasn't been that great, to be honest with you. And you're probably just going to shut this video off right now, but um, I ha did find some gems, and I'm still going through it. I'm maybe 20% through the boxes, and um, this video series will probably be two or three videos long. So sit back and watch the video, and you'll notice some of the junk I find, plus some couple cool things I do find also. But enjoy! Hey guys, today is Thursday, February 24th, and it's a beautiful day out. It's like 75 degrees, it's awesome. Uh, so I'm going to empty out this locker that that I bought, that I still haven't gone through yet. So uh, the one where I found the GameCube and American Girl doll. So uh, I'm at least going to attempt to clean it out today. I don't think I'm going to get it all in my trailer. But I need to be out by the first, so I have four days to get this done. So it shouldn't be a problem if something comes up. But let's get to it. I would like to mention I almost left the facility without even taking my trailer. Kind of hard to load it up without it. I love this backup camera. Check and make sure I pulled down far enough. All right, pretty sure that's my unit. <laughs> it's funny I don't even remember, but I gotta pull up a few more feet. All right, here's here's a story for you. So I grabbed every key on top of my uh, little filing cabinet in my unit, not my unit, my office. I didn't grab these, and I got to my door and I was like. I better grab these keys just to make sure because <laughs> I have the worst luck with keys, but at least I grabbed them and I didn't drive 30 minutes out here for nothing. Alright, here we go. I'm touched. This last time I was here. Definitely gonna go through some boxes today, but not a lot of them. I really gotta get loaded up and get out of here. Um, I only have a few hours today. Knock as much of this out as I can. And I'm not really even prepared to do this today, but I'm making myself do it. Hey, just a quick interruption. If you like these videos, please hit that subscribe button. It's free and it really helps my channel out, uh, gets more eyeballs on my videos, and in turn I get more subscriptions and views, which is what all us creators are looking for. So do me a favor, hit that like button also, and keep enjoying this video. This washing machine, and I'm assuming the dryer is pretty gross. Yeah, it's rusted out on the bottom, you can see it down there. And then, you can't see in the back, but it's really rusted underneath. This thing probably doesn't even work. And it's definitely not worth trying to sell, so it kind of sucks. Just hoping it'd be in better shape. Let's see, just rust it out. Alright, get this pulled out. Let's get a better look in here. You know, there might be a cool toy or action figure in this kind of junk. That's all it is right now. Uh, we balance board, which is junk. Let me buy those. No name headphones. You never know, there could be a gold ring down at the bottom of that box. Like 
we got some wooden uh, canisters here. They're pretty moldy. It says T on it. But they're not, I wouldn't think they're that old with that bottom. Um, maybe it could be from the 60s. I don't know if they're worth anything. They're pretty uh, nasty. Oh, that's nasty. If I can clean them up and they're worth selling, I will. Got uh, sugar, flour, a T1, and whatever that is. I'm not taking it out. And that just happened. <laughs> that ball's gone. It's not going that fast. I could go get it, but eh. All right, so I'm definitely emptying these drawers. The fun part for me is getting this stupid thing down by myself. So I'm probably just gonna take all the drawers out, I guess. First, I'm gonna empty them, and I don't remember going to the bottom dresser. I don't think I have yet. Let's check a drawer and see if anything looks familiar. Nope, I haven't been in this drawer, I don't think. But yeah, as you can see, it's just a bunch of junk toys. We got a ball glove here. It's too, uh, not a good one. Okay, luckily I brought some empty tips with me. Moldy clothes. Got some kind of electronic here. U-verse uh, modem. And some books. Santa Claus is coming to town. Score. I guess, I guess that's a photo frame. I don't know. broken whatever the little things broke it's wrapped in here be a gun but I doubt it because this looks like a teenage girls or younger dresser based on the toys and stuff in here so we got some uh, little reindeer looks like they're handmade some things remembered stuff here Disney might be all right, but it doesn't look Disney. I can't read that. <sighs> Precious moments, yeah. So some of these are decent, but most of them aren't. That's nasty. It must have flooded in here. Okay. Um, literature book. Winchester, limited edition. Of course, it's not complete, but that one knife might be worth selling. And the other knives might be in this locker somewhere, too. Alright, 
this locker flooded at one point it's going to suck that means this bottom dresser is probably ruined um i won't know until i get out look at the back and stuff but there was definitely water damage um at the bottom of that one but if it's not too bad it doesn't smell moldy i can still take it to that consignment store where i take my furniture so i'm still halfway there just with that one precious moments figure from the last video so um I'm not going to lose too much out of this, plus uh, I didn't even look through all this stuff yet, so hopefully there's a GameCube gold mine in one of these boxes, but as I said before, uh, the man it just definitely looks like the owners went through and got what they really wanted, uh, based off all the empty boxes and what the manager had told me, so yeah, I'm expecting the worst and hoping for the best. Okay, not the best, because the best is probably going open for the mediocre, I guess. Got some money. I love finding loose change in lockers. I don't know why. But anybody else that does this, it looks like a bunch of pennies, but... Some dimes, there's a quarter. Cool. So maybe, what, like 50 cents? find a filing cabinet key is there a filing cabinet in here there I mean it might be what's gonna be in it probably files all right so I got the drawers out and taking a closer look like I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to sell this one uh, it's not water damage but if you can see all those specs Specs. That's a sign of like roach, roaches. So this locker could be roach infested. There was food, but I haven't seen a single dead roach anywhere. Oh, that's nasty. Um, some more specs. This stuff's not gonna come out of this furniture. Um, so I don't think I'm gonna be able to take it to the consignment store. And I'm pretty positive the bottom one's ruined with water. See right there. And then the back is bowed out. Uh, so that's probably going straight to the dump. So the only sign of like water that might have been here is from that. But that could just could be like one of those mud dauber nests. That's what happens when you put stuff in a non-climate controlled unit. And, full, and put food in here so all right so I'm going to film myself taking this down by myself so if I kill myself we'll know why ah! uh, yeah that one's just I mean that could be it months of mouse pee just built up. I don't know. There's definitely turds in here. But like I said, I haven't seen any dead roaches. But yeah, see how the back's bowed up? So this definitely got water damaged. Not even talking about the mattress. That's just straight going to the dump. That's just gross. Even the, the feet on this top one are water damage so the stuff might not even have been water damaged here just crazy I can one more thing I can tell you right now this consignment store is not gonna take this dresser in that condition they do beat take some that are beat up a little bit but this is just too much flaking right, this is in the bottom of that drawer might be worth something no idea but Beauty and the Beast so. all right these might be worth a little bit too. I didn't look that up, um, but this, these are glass bearing. This one says made with Sikorsky uh, elements, I guess, was, is what's underneath that sticker. So, um, these are ranging from 12 to $30 sold on eBay. Not this one, can't find this one, but other penguins made by glass bearing. So I will put these aside if I can get 20 bucks for them, sweet. Just an example of grossness that has to be rat pee. Like, it's the only thing I can think of. There was, there's some rat turds in other drawers. 
So yeah, just showing you why this is going to the dump. Found a five dollar bill. Somebody sprayed glitter all over it though. So, but I bet you I can go exchange that at the bank. It's not worth the drive for just five bucks, but I'll throw it in my uh, little change uh, thing I got. All right, this is literally the grossest mattress I've ever seen, and it's a king. So that, what does that mean? I have to finagle it to get it in my trailer because it's just a little too tall. So that means putting a lot of hands on it. Oh, gross. All right, this flat screen I just looked up on eBay, and it's a Phillips. 52 inch I guess and the internals aren't even selling as parts so it tells me it's pretty outdated well I can tell you right now just by holding it it's like a 10 years or more so it's pretty heavy they don't make them that heavy anymore so all right it's been about two hours uh, not gonna fit at all that's for sure I have to make another trip which sucks Means I have to drive all the way out to Elgin, unload my trailer, and then come back. That's just how it is for me. I'm still gonna finish loading this up, but I finally want to get through some of these boxes that I haven't been through yet. All right, looking. Uh, this, this is really cheap. Um, Walmart style dressers, nice stands back there. You see the. There's two monitors down there. Or televisions so that might be cool much more boxes behind there so I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure a lot of these are empty though at least whatever that comfort thing is above is definitely empty see the clown thing get them all right like I said they were empty let's see what we got these are the boxes that were up there six so we got some uh, Kids' toys again. But this is priority mailbox number like nine or ten. Oh. So. More kids' toys. I don't want to count this stuff out. That could be worth money putting it together. Look at the little furniture here. See what's in here. PC pal, that big could be cool. Just never know. These kids' toys. It smells too. Right. I'm starting to like this locker less and less. It's just it's, a lot of these boxes are starting to smell like like cat pee uh, I know cardboard if it gets wet can smell it smells the same but man I don't know see how that stain right there I don't even want to smell it so and and we got this box here been all chewed up so let's see what's in it it's like paperwork and some mods and ends spray paint or something like some kind of dollhouse handmade probably at least this box don't smell all right and we got just a tote of clothes it's stained I'm not smelling it I don't smell anything from this distance so it's good enough for me all right let's see what's in here so just some more odds and ends a bunch of pencils some rollers curling iron rollers Just randomness. Alright, next box I just grabbed from right there. It says kitchen. I have yet to open it yet. So. Alright, so just a mixture of stuff. It's like more office stuff than anything. Got a Vera Bradley bag here. 
All right, this one's a little heavy and no top. So I obviously saw what's on top of it. So we got books, lots of more books. Books, books. More books. Pretzels, why this is infested with mice. I have a feeling that these books are worth money put together. Not like a fortune, but worth selling on eBay. And there's at least five of them down there. Six. So that might be a pretty good lot of books. All right, this box is a little too tall to try to look through it right there. So I'm gonna hurt my back hunching over, which is fine, I'm just used to it. Let's see what's in here. Christmas. Just Christmas, it's a mixture of stuff. Got some personal pictures there. Some Nikes. Those are cheerleading uh, shoes. I've sold a pair before, that's why I know. Yeah. Got a binder here, this is paperwork. Uh, I'd rather it be Pokemon cards. But yeah, some more junk. Let's see nothing screaming, taking me out for massive amount of money. Tour book of Arizona, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Alright, bigger box number two here. Let's see what we got. I know it's not closed, so I think we're on a... Kind of have an idea what's in every box now, I guess. Randomness. Gross. What's, uh, what's under there? All right. If anybody want to look up a bag for me, that bag was in that box. It was in the plastic bag. It was branded Gold Coast. So that might be valuable. Let me know in the comments. Is it worth anything? I don't think I've been through this box yet, so it was right there. So this box here and the box above it, been through. So I don't remember this twin sheet set. Some of those don't sleep on linens. That could be worth some money. Been on the brand. Let's see, Dynasty Collection. Yeah, no idea. Bunch of paperwork and some glass stuff, rolled up shirt, looks like some books. Right, let's see what we got in here. It says kids room stuffed animals. It's completely not accurate. Yep, a bunch of kitchen stuff. Pots and pans. Alright, I'm pretty sure I went to this box in the last video. Yeah. Royal Caribbean, Coca-Cola, that could be worth a few dollars. All right, let's see what's in here. Oh wow, Tupperware, yay. All right, working this stack. So let's see what we got here. Kitchen, paperwork, paper shredder. I think I went through this already. Costumes, that's why I remember it. Some shoes, some books. Nothing cool yet. Oh, what I know from watching a lot of videos is owners tend to put the best stuff in first, which is in the back corner. Sometimes it's mixed up, all the best stuff's mixed up. Sometimes it's in the front. Um, but. I haven't been in the back quarter yet, so there's still hope. All right, let's see what's in this box. It's labeled kitchen, and that doesn't mean anything anymore because none of them match. All right, we got 
bags full of some type of cloth material, maybe baby clothes. Heck, alcohol. What do we got here? Malibu strawberry kiwi. And some laundry detergent. All right, we got a taped box. And there's some glassware in there. It says master bedroom. Chef uh, box here on top, cookie press, which is decent money, a bunch of nasty, moldy, spotted dishes. Hopefully that's still good. I mean, it's not a lot of money, but it's worth reselling. All right, lockers like these are why you don't take the stuff in your house. Like I haven't found any dead roaches yet, so. Makes me think more of a mouse infestation. Uh, but still, you don't want to take this crap in your house, especially bed bugs and stuff. Um, if this unit had bed bugs, I would already took them home. Messing with that big stuffed animal last time. So, uh, sweat in my ear. All right, Let's see what's in this box. Look, more kitchen stuff. Remote or something. Waterproof camera. It's like a phone. G to G, so not exciting. Some of those tape recorders are good money, but mainly Sony. What else we got? Another tape box. Hey look, more cups. Alright, let's see what else we got. CDs. This could be a good box. Let's hope there's some video games down in there. I got something in here. Not just uh, there's my marbles. I lost them a long time ago. Haha. Uh -huh. Hitting this stack. Let's see, another tape box. And I'm done reading them off. Some kitchen knives. More kitchen stuff, yay. Although, I like knives. People buy kitchen knives all the time to replace ones they lost or don't want to sharpen. But Cavalier by Rogers. No idea, never heard of it. Chicago's a good one. Cutco, obviously, is the major one. Uh, Chef's Collection. The steer down there. I don't know what to say. Butcher, okay. Made in Japan. I mean, that could be a good one. I mean, I've sold knives for like 40, 50 bucks, kitchen knives. So I always look for them at estate sales. I have to look up the chef's collection now. I have no idea. But made in Japan sometimes is a good sign. Made in Germany is another really good sign. And then made in USA, of course. But 
The ones I make the most of us made in Germany ones. I haven't found Cutco's. Broke. I'm not even up on this. <laughs> I'm getting tired. Uh, it's Tupperware though, kitchen stuff. It's light. Looks and sounds like a duck. It's a duck. All right, I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm in a hurry. Uh, started on taping this. Figured I'd get it on camera so you can see more kitchen stuff. That's what we got. We a box of trash. All right, I didn't get this one, but you didn't miss anything. Or kitchen stuff. Don't know what that is. Some type of bag matic food prepare or something? I don't know. It's not even a trick. Whatever a good brand is, I'm getting tired, so I can't think clearly. Yeah, I had this filmed and then the uh, camera didn't record, but I was saying, there's three things I keep forgetting. Some gloves, some water, and a pocket knife, because this box was taped. All right, getting down to this stack and still haven't found anything good. So, so we got a personal photo there. And got the best mom bracelet. Get some CDs. This could be a maybe a decent box. Photo paper, T-Mobile Unleash. Probably empty, whatever it is. These are uh, computer games and stuff. What we got? It's that black thing. All right, let's see what's in here. Hey, more kitchen. Uh, being so totally sarcastic. It's a teapot. That might be uh, some, worth something. Except the uh, the handle on the top is busted. All right, it's last box of that stack, and something tells me it's kitchen stuff. Let's see. And. It is. Whoop de doo. And it's all covered in mouse or bug turds. You know, I ain't gonna lie. The last three lockers have all been like this, pretty sucky. It almost makes me want to not even buy storage units anymore. I do better. At thrift stores and estate sales finding good stuff and auctions I don't know there's still a part of me that loves doing this I love the treasure hunt and we're still not done still got all that stack there maybe that's where the grail of Nintendo GameCubes are hey guys this is it today for this video I really appreciate y'all watching it if you're still here you must really like me and I know I say that for every, every video. Um, just If you haven't subscribed, just subscribe. It's free. And so many people are watching my videos that aren't subscribed. And I'd really like to hit 500 subs in the next couple of months. That would be awesome. So anyway, this is just part one of this series. There's going to be a couple more videos coming out. And I hope you keep watching. Thanks and have a great week.